this young lady's toe up. She has an ingrown toenail. She's actually had the procedure done before on both sides, but today it's really this side that's bothering her. Part of her problem is that her nail is so thick that anytime a shoe or anything touches it and pushes down, it digs this side in more. Um, so in order to prevent an infection and prevent future pain and let her wear a closed in shoe, we are actually going to remove part of that border. So are you allergic to any numbing or numbing medicines? Not yeah. steroids. Okay. No. We'll spray some cold stuff on your skin. You get two little pokes. Super, super cold and poke. Okay. I'm going to get this toe numb. We normally use about six cc's of numbing medication. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. We definitely don't want to use epinephrine in the toe, which can constrict the blood vessels. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. I know it hurts. A lot of doctors will actually give you four pokes at the base of the toe. Um, I'm not a big fan of that just because I can do it in two. It's a little trick I recently learned. Um, and I think that helps to keep the patients happier in a not so happy situation. Also, we've heard horror stories of doctors actually injecting up near the toenail and that sounds terrible to me. So um, here at Lexington Podiatry, we would never, ever, ever do anything like that. Okay, one poke down, one more to go, super cold. Her toe's getting pretty fat, and that's because I'm injecting a lot of fluid into a small little area. After I do the injection, I'm gonna ask her to hang her leg down over the edge of the chair. That's gonna allow all of this numbing medicine to really run down to the tip of her toe, and hopefully ensure that we don't have to give her any more shots. You are a trooper, my dear. So at this point, we put betadine on the toe to kind of clean it up. I use a tourniquet always for this because I feel like I can see better and I feel like it also helps my um, chemical to work. If there's blood going everywhere, I feel like it may neutralize um, the medicine and I don't want to take any chances that it comes back. Um, different doctors definitely have different opinions on that. Okay, can you feel this? No. Okay. You may feel some pressure, some pulling. If it's anything other than that, my dear, you let me know. So we're gonna loosen the skin all the way around the edge of the nail. Sometimes that's easier said than done. She said not to mind her green toenail polish that it wouldn't all come off. Okay, so when I loosen it from underneath, it's really, really firm because the nail is so thick. And also, it kind of loosens some of it that I'm not necessarily going to cut off. As this toenail grows out, it may look a little bit funny. So snip, snip. I don't want to take a huge section because she's already had toenails removed before. So I don't want her to have the little tiny sliver of nail left. Not super impressive, but we didn't really expect it. Um, definitely long and there's obviously a root there. No, definitely not like last time. Okay, so we're gonna clean it up a little bit. And there's definitely some hardened skin and tissue in there that I will get out and I'm going to square this off just a little bit more. From my angle up here, it's sometimes hard to tell. Going underneath the cuticle there. So very minimal bleeding compared to what you would probably expect for a procedure like this. Okay, this is our chemical. Here at the office, we use sodium hydroxide. I feel like compared to other chemicals used, it actually doesn't 
give as much redness or swelling or irritation and pain therefore afterwards. It will kind of turn the tissue black when it mixes with blood. So I won't let your toe rot off. One more. Three little applications is all it takes and then we neutralize it with a vinegar solution. the skin will fold right over and no farther and we won't have to do this anymore right <clears throat> once the procedure is complete we remove the tourniquet and the color will return to normal minus a little bit of betadine and you'll see that it starts to bleed of antibiotic ointment on there today to make sure that it doesn't stick and we'll wrap it up we'll attempt to wrap it up normally Tara would do this for me she's much better at it I'm just watching this thing you're doing <laughs> there you go and if you're a really good patient, we'll do this. <laughs> Who can look at that and not smile? Exactly. <laughs>